Hi everybody, welcome to Tap Kitchen. I'm Leia from Nutrition by Tanya. And today I'm gonna to do a short video on one of my uh, favorite vegetables. It's called the spaghetti squash. You can prepare it so many different ways. And I'm gonna give you a couple recipes on what to do with it. Before we start, we have to prepare our spaghetti squash. Um, there are two ways to do that. You can either roast it in the oven, or preferably the way I like to do it, it's easier for me, is to boil it. And I'll tell you why. So spaghetti squashes are a um, this is spaghetti squash. It's a hard vegetable, and it's quite difficult to cut. So if you want to roast this in the oven to cook it, what I suggest doing first is putting it in the microwave for like three to four minutes, so that you can soften it, and then you can slice it in half, and then you can roast it in the oven. But my preferable way of preparing it is to boil it in a pot of water. Just fill up the pot of water as much as you can, put the spaghetti squash in, boil it up. It takes about an hour or so, and then you will have a very nice soft spaghetti squash to prepare. So here you have a soft spaghetti squash that I boiled for about an hour. And what we're gonna do is cut off the ends first. Okay, get a nice, a nice sharp knife. And if you see the consistency inside, it's stringy, okay? That's what you're looking for. It's gonna be a bright yellow color, as opposed to pale in color, okay? Now, when you're cutting this, it's going to, if you've boiled it, I should say, when you're cutting it, it's going to release a lot of water. So I think you should be near a sink when you're doing it so that you can just have the water run into the sink. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Okay. And this is what the spaghetti squash looks like inside. It has a lot of seeds. And what we're going to do is scoop out the seeds. Take my fork and just kind of gather up all the seeds. You'll be taking some of the spaghetti squash with you but that's fine, okay, because you don't want to eat the seeds. Although, possible, some people may roast them. I've never tried that. That should be my next thing to try, okay. Um, now, those of you on Tanya's plan should know that the spaghetti squash is what she considers a free vegetable, meaning you can have pretty much unlimited amounts of squash. You don't have to measure a cup, a half a cup, whatever it is. Um, so once you're done scooping out the seeds, you kind of just take your fork and just shred it, so to speak, and you pull it away from the skin, as so. Okay, the second one. And what I'm going to, what I love to uh, use my spaghetti squash for is I make, uh, I just mix it up with some sauce and some cheese, some marinara sauce and cheese for lunch. It makes a great filling lunch. Some people will make um, shakshuka with the spaghetti squash. Shakshuka is basically um, a Mediterranean dish, Middle Eastern dish that has cooked egg in tomato sauce. So what people will do, will they'll just scoop the spaghetti squash a little bit, put some sauce in it, crack an egg into it, and um, bake it in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes or so just to cook the egg a little bit. And then you have shakshuka spaghetti squash. Okay, so here I have my spaghetti squash that I've shredded up that I prepared into a bowl. Now I'm going to add some actually homemade tomato sauce. I took a can of tomato sauce and I've added garlic powder, basil, oregano, salt, and pepper, onion powder. You can use any bottled marinara sauce as you wish, it's not a problem. I'm going to mix that up a bit. It smells so good. And then we're going to add in our shredded mozzarella cheese. Uh, I think for most people, according to Tanya's plan, it's two ounces of cheese that is allowed, but you should always check with your counselor for your specific allotment. Okay, I'm gonna mix that up. And then, if you're working with your spaghetti squash that's hot, when you mix it, the cheese will melt automatically. 
I've actually left this to cool off a bit. It's a little bit easier to handle. Um, so I'm going to just put it in the microwave and warm it up. And here you have a great filling lunch. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.